Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Talk is Cheap with Kiana J. I am Kiana J. And that is not the um that is not the topic. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> uh again, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Talk. To tea with Kiana J. I need to start checking my stuff before I um actually go on. Um because I be caught on guard. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So um I do not have a guest today because this is not gonna be a long podcast. I just want to give y'all some informative information because a lot of people um been asking me and telling me and um have their comments about me and things of that nature on why I won't sit down. So this podcast is it's okay to start over. Um rebuilding life. Um so that's what I want to talk about. But but first I know if y'all seen my post yesterday, next week I have a celebrity guest. But I'm not going to tell you who that is right now. Oh, y'all can ask me questions, too, if y'all want to. So, um, which I got to go to that actual app on my thing so I can answer them. Hold on one second. <laughs> so I can answer them when y'all do ask. But, okay, y'all can, um, okay, y'all, um, we'll see. Uh, I will say the celebrity guest um towards the end of the show so if you bounce up out of here you won't see it until i put up the promo so that's what it is so again hey guys i'm your host kiana j talk is cheap so one thing i want to get off my chest before i started was um my inbox okay i'm not the person who checks my inbox on a constant basis i don't know if y'all can my eyes were swollen for the last few days because let me tell you so my eyes were swollen for the last few days because um my eyes i don't know if y'all can see them hey i'm not getting my nails done until i get to my sister so i don't talk about my nails they need done and i'm going to my sister i'm leaving to go to milwaukee this weekend and I'm going to my sister so don't talk about my nails because these Chinese folk down here is not touching my nails not again no more again they will not be touching my nails no more again my sister is doing my nails I don't care every time I travel back up that way she will be doing my nails (laughs) I can't deal with these folks I don't like the way they do my nails. Uh, 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 no. So, so don't talk about nails because I'm not getting done until I get up that way. And I'm going up that way this weekend. So, but I want to talk about my inbox first. Uh, the thing with that is, um, I don't check it a lot, you know, um, unless I'm sending an inbox. Um, then I go through and check, you know, I'll be sliding in DMs, but that'd be for people from my show and stuff. If I ain't got their phone numbers and stuff like that. But, um, I don't check my inbox like that. So, um, if you, and, um, if I add you as a friend, most likely I'm adding you because of the show. If I don't know you personally. So come in and sit the fuck down. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, just come in and have a fucking seat and enjoy what's going on on my social media. I am not looking (laughs) for a man on social media. I tried that shit. That shit don't work. It's not for me. I am not doing that. Now, once I get outside again, 
then I'm gonna start dating. But right now, no, I am not doing y'all right now. I'm, I'm not doing the the DM thing, okay? Especially you married motherfucker. Let me tell you something, okay? Now y'all keep playing with me. I'm gonna post y'all ass on 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 the front of my Facebook page if you keep calling. And then you don't. When I don't answer, I see it. I see it. I check my inbox once a week. I see it. Y'all know I see them inboxes. That means I ain't seeing nothing. That means I don't want to talk to you. Do not call me via Facebook Messenger FaceTime. First off, I don't have my wig on most of the time. Okay? And second off, if I don't know you, I'm not answering. That's just what it is. Y'all, y'all be weird. Like, why are you being weird to me? Like, stop it. Cut it out. That's not okay. Like, don't do that. And if you marry, keep on. And you know who exactly who I'm talking about because I'm trying not to block you. In Mississippi. I'm trying not to block you, but you keep on calling me and shit all the fucking time. What's wrong with you? Got a whole fucking wife. Leave me the fuck alone. Tripping. Okay. So now my eye thing, right? So my eyes are kind of going down. I don't know if y'all can see, but they was red. And uh, they black under there. I don't know why, you know. My sleep pattern always been off since I've been a bartender. So at night I'd be up a little later than most people, you know, and um so I don't know. So my witch hazel, I use witch hazel to keep my face clear, you know. See, I got a clear clear skin, you know what I'm saying? But my eyes like are black. So I my friend was over here yesterday not yesterday, a couple days ago, and I'm telling her I'm like my eyes black underneath you know how can i fix that oh she tells me use honey so okay okay cool i can do that i can use money you know what i'm saying so the first night i put you know i got honey because i drink tea so i don't put sugar in my tea so i drink tea so i got honey in the cabinet so i put the you know um honey under the eyelid on the black, you know. So I start to get a little era, era, irritated. So I said, oh, okay, you know. I don't think it's supposed to feel like that, but okay, okay. So nothing of it. I was a little irritated. The morning I got up, wash my face, you know, do your morning routine, whatever. Next night, I do the same thing, honey. When I say I woke up to two swollen eyes closed shut, baby, I said, honey, that honey wasn't playing with me. (laughs) I I said I thought I was going to go blind. Like I'm trying to be out here blind, can't see. I'm need somebody to help me around. I'm about to move back to Milwaukee, <laughs> Chicago, so people can help me. Sliced potato and tea bag, never heard of, honey. See, uh, I should have, I should have put that in the group chat then. Sliced potato or tea bag? I can do tea bags. I have tea because I drink it. <laughs> Baby, that honey had my eyes. Woo! I said, I'm thinking, and they was in so much pain. Oh my God, it was pain. And I was like, what is going on? Now I ain't want to go to the hospital because, you know, I'm down in the South. I'd be nervous about the South, you know, and stuff. My daddy died down here, so I don't know. I'd be nervous about the South doctors and stuff. So, you know, when I got to go to the doctor, you know, I get in my car and drive up north. <laughs> I just playing. And people hate when I do that. But okay, I'm gonna say what I want to say. So, but Sunday I will be um getting my butt on the road to go to Milwaukee. Now, 
this is why I'm doing this because starting over. Um, as y'all know, I'm a 42 year old woman. <laughs> I might don't look like it, <laughs> but I am. And um, I'm not started over like 50 11 times. <laughs> They left tabs. I ain't even lie to you. But I don't know. I'm just not settling. I never been settling. When I was younger, I always had to move around because as a teenager, I was not a I was not a good teenager, you know. So I was always had to move somewhere, go to a different school or live in somebody's household. You know, so uh, I always moved around. So that's what people don't understand. Like when they be like, oh, Kiana, she never sit down. She always move with all oh, you ever going to sit down. Until my mind say I'm settled, I'm not going to be settled. So, and I think, I don't know, I've been praying a lot lately. So it's just like, I think I'm settled. Because my mind ain't told me to go nowhere yet. And I've been here like about four months, I think. Has it been four months? I've been here about four months. So I have been settled. It's okay to start over. And what I mean is people be in long-term relationships and things of that nature where they're scared to start over. Either you too old, you think, or you just too comfortable, you know, um, rebuilding life. Don't people put a stigma on what age you supposed to be when you supposed to be settled. And people put a stigma in life, what age you supposed to be when you supposed to be in your home, when you supposed to be married, when you supposed to do all type of things in life where you supposed to be in your career and all that people put uh like you supposed to have this 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 by this time that's why a lot of you motherfuckers are hack that's why a lot of you motherfuckers are miserable because you rushed into a lot of shit and that that be the problem you know what i'm saying and don't get me wrong i have made mistakes A lot of mistakes. Ooh, child. So mistakes have been made when I say been made. Hey! Hey, boo! <laughs> when I say the mistakes has been made. But I fix my mistakes. I, well, I try to, you know. Uh, and I just feel like it's no age to do things. Like I was telling my guest next week. I was telling her when I asked her, I said, y'all just don't know, like three weeks ago, I was saying I'm giving this up, just giving it up. Because I just feel like it gets to me like, I'm too old. I might as well go on and give me a dog, sit in the house, and just be done with the whole situation and just work and be boring. Then I thought about like, I'm not that motherfucking person. I'm not a boring person. I'm not a... My personality by itself is a vibe. Get the fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I am not in the house. Um, right now I'm in the house because, you know, I'm trying to get my house together. So, but I am not uh, out. I'm not a quit. Quit. First of all, I don't quit nothing I do. Now, I might get fired a few times. I think I've been fired twice in my life, but you know, but um, I don't quit nothing I do. I always succeed in, in this, this podcast, y'all just understand, like I have videos on my Instagram from 20, 2012 interviewing my family, you know? So it's just like, and they used to just sit there and let me interview them <laughs> about sex and everything. So. I'm born to talk. I guess I was born to talk because when I was a child, I didn't talk much. I didn't talk at all. So it's okay to start late in life. I'm starting my life late. I raised kids, you know. Them mother suckers grown now. You know, they grown and out there doing what they do, you know. So me 
because I raised my kids, you know, I had to work constantly, you know, work because I had to pay the bills. I had to get their school stuff. I had to do birthday parties. I had to do Christmas. I had to, so I worked all the time, work, work. So life was just passing me by because I was a mama, which I am doing a teenage mother episode because as a teenage mother, one of my friends told me, because I always get discouraged, you know, and I always get, when I get discouraged, I get to talk to one of my friends. And one of my friends told me, he was like, I, he was like, what is the hardest thing you ever did in your life? He's like, when did you have your first baby? And I was like, I was pregnant at 16. I delivered him at 17. He was like, you was responsible for another human being at the age of 17. He was like, that's the most hardest thing you've done in your life. And he's like, all your kids are grown and still alive and, and, and everything. And he was like, at the end of the day, you did the hardest thing anybody could ever do. And I had to look at that and be like, motherfucker, you right. Because it wasn't just him. It was two other them little motherfuckers. <laughs> so raising three kids, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, I had two by the age of 19, but I'm going to do a teenage pregnancy show. Um, so, uh yeah, friend, it is. It's the hardest thing a, a person can do is raising some children. And so I once he said that, he's like, you did that. You could do anything. He's like, it wasn't your time back then because you had your kids. You had to raise your kids and everything. You know what I'm saying? But now your time is here and it is coming. You just have to be patient. My thing is, I hate being patient. <laughs> I hate for to say too long, but I understand patience is the key. Uh, like, you know, I'm going to be honest. And my friends, I'd be glad when they come visit, but my mom them came visit. And I was so happy because they liked my home. The home I got here, my house is nice. And the neighborhood is nice. And it just sounds like, you know what? Yeah, God doing the same for me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just got to get it really out furnished and get it all geared up and stuff. And, you know, I'll be set. By next summer, I'm going to throw a party. Just to let you know, next summer, I'm starting a party for my closest and dearest. And then I'm going to set a date because I want my peoples from up there to be down here for it. You know, to enjoy ourselves in the weekend, you know. so. But, yeah, so... um. I not started over 50, 11 times. I not moved, lived Illinois, Mississippi, Memphis, Milwaukee. Yeah, I I have been in some places. And in these places, I met some cool people. You know, um, Milwaukee is the best for me. You know, I just can't live there. You know, but the, peop the people I met, and vibe with there, you know what I'm saying? The guys, my guys, my bros, lay y'all, uh, my sis, uh, uh, my my friends, lay y'all. And then you got Chicago, where well, my sisters, my mamas, and everybody live in uh, Milwaukee, my other sisters, and my brother, and then, you know, my cousins in Chicago. So they only an hour and a half away. So when I go up, I do, I visit. I try to get everybody I can in uh, Memphis. I know some of y'all feeling some type of way because I've been here and ain't came to see nobody. But I haven't been counting myself lately. So don't worry. Before the summer is up, I'm going to visit. Everybody I need to visit in Memphis, hang out, you know, pick a weekend, hang out with my cousins and uh, my uncles and everybody because you know, y'all y'all know y'all like to talk about folks, you know, like it ain't gonna get back to me and shit. You know? <laughs> you know motherfucker, stay talking about you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, nah, yeah, like, and sometimes life do pass you up. You know, days do go by. And sometimes I don't call people and get that time. But when I show up, I'm going to show up. You know, you would be shocked when I come, but I'm going to come. You ain't got to talk about me like that. You know, like, I love you. Even though you don't see me, I love you. 
you know, you know, when we do see each other, and it's a shame we have to see each other at funerals and stuff. But again, life do pass you back. Like I said, I'm, I'm rebuilding my life, so it's taking me some time, and sometimes I just don't want to be bothered with folks, and 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 that should be understandable. But I know y'all feel like, hey, Webby, I know y'all feel like, um. I just need to be bothered with y'all right now. So, cause I'm here. So I'm gonna have Memphis people. I'm gonna come see y'all because y'all, y'all be tripping and talking about folks. And I don't, you know, I'm gonna sit up and talk about me all the goddamn time. Shit, cause, huh, honey. But rebuilding life is hard. It is hard. So if you scared to do it, uh, I just say step out on faith. But I'm not saying step out of, on faith with no money. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't that was like yeah I just said step out on faith no no <laughs> do not just step out on faith with nobody okay uh you gotta have some duckets in your pockets because I'm telling you when you decide to leave that relationship or leave um the situation or leave the state or to start over you gonna have some money now some people say oh I moved and only had forty dollars in my pocket I can't survive like that First off, I need to eat. <laughs> Forty dollars ain't gonna give me nowhere, and you know I don't like asking people for nothing. You know, because I hate to be told no. That <laughs> I am spoiled. I ain't even lie to you. That's why I don't ask people for nothing. Cause people be telling me, and you tell me no, I cry. I, I will. Like that's that's just me. Like I ain't even lie to you. <laughs> My feelings get hurt. <laughs> like hurt. Why right? like hurt my soul that end over? You're like, what? That I don't understand. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm learning now. It's okay to be so no, but y'all like my daddy for that. I ain't even like to see. And my guy friends, because they don't tell me no either. So mm. but um yeah, uh that's what I'm talking about, like. You have to step out. You have to go for it. You know, like I said, my mind won't let me sit easy in one place. And I think um, I ain't been having the the thoughts that I've been having lately. Like, so I think I'm okay in this space right now. I'm a, my, my space has to be good vibes all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like being around people with negative vibes. So if you invite me somewhere and I know people there that are negative, I won't come, you know, stuff. And don't bring nobody with negative vibes around me because I'm an energy person and I can tell. And it will, you know, just because I got a negative vibe, I will have an attitude, you know. So, yeah, I don't do, I don't do that. Yeah. And only good vibes around here, you know, around around me because I, I I just want good energy because good energy helps with the rebuilding if you get what I'm saying you have to you know be in good spirits and stuff like that new jobs and stuff like that leave that job that ain't treating you right leave that job where the managers and things think that they can talk to you any kind of way you know what I'm saying that shit ain't okay for that little ass money I had to learn that, you know, because, yeah, again, don't talk about my nails because my sister was going to do them when I get up that way. But these folks ain't touching my nails down here no more. Um, but get, get out there and um, if you want to open a business, try to do that too, you know. But um, it's, it's the way the world set up, they got the... the the monkey pot now, knock on wood. Jesus, I don't know if this would. I don't know. This is taking forever to heat up. I gotta get some other type of coals. But um, knock on wood. I never caught COVID. Now, if I did, I was probably asymptomatic. Okay, but I never caught it where you know I was. Knock on wood. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Because, like I said, I pray a lot. Okay. Um, I never caught it where um, I was about to die like most of the people I know. You know, 
and um knock on wood so when when the way the world is now that COVID kind of simmer is not go now that COVID kind of simmered down a little bit you have this thing that's uh bumping up your face and body and stuff that look like bad bad horrible chicken pox now <laughs> I had the chicken pox when I was a little girl. And my stuff didn't look like that. It's how monkey pox. Now I don't know where this monkey came from. You know? And then y'all yeah, tried to blame it on gay people. And I don't think that's entirely true. You know what I'm saying? Just like y'all tried to blame the AIDS on them. Y'all about to stop blaming this stuff on these gay folks. No, and then these people coming over here. Where that monkey come from? Where is the monkey? First off, just spreading these monkey pops. Then second of all, y'all out here just touching on folks. Ten feet, please. Ten feet me, please. I no. See, that's the problem. Cause if I get one I look, I get a bump on my face. I'm dead and about to cry. So imagine a monkey. Jesus, take the Lord, take the whip. Take it. Take the wheel. Guide me in the name. Stir me away from the... <laughs> Wait, what you say, Crystal? Yeah, girl, they changed the story four times. And I don't appreciate because some effect is now one thing about me. I don't play about this. Okay. Don't touch even a man. Don't touch me in my face. I don't know where your hands been. Now you can't touch me at all. And see, this is why I I ain't been having no sexual contact. Because then y'all try to blame it on the gay people. Then you say you get it from sexy transmitted disease. Now it's a sexy transmitted disease. Like, oh, and now, oh, if you touch somebody or if somebody talking and they spit on, what the? Nah, see, y'all. No, mm, mm, y'all out here playing, and that's why I said if you need to rebuild, rebuild, and get out here and live life because the way this world set up, baby, they trying to make you ugly. And then you notice most of all the pictures are black folks. Only, only black people get monkey Hmm. Tell me about that. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Like at first, when COVID first hit, there was, was no black people. Then they just started saying, oh, ain't no black people had no case. And all of a sudden, all the people that was mostly down was the black folks. Mm-hmm. They trying to tell you something without telling you something. Mm-hmm. Because they know we are becoming first. A lot of these, a lot of black folks are coming up. And a lot of black folks are becoming the majority and and um uh, they they are trying to become the majority and um what is it? in rich land you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying uh, a high income status and so they try i don't know what they try they they trying to assassinate us i think and or they try because let me tell y'all something uh, Chicago implemented a restriction due to outbreak. What? Hey, Josh. Chicago. See? Now, Chicago is that mayor. Chicago. Uh, Chicago will lock your ass up out of there. Like, you won't be able to go to clubs. You won't be able to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says that yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> but they try to take us out and they try to they try to, to like the monkey pot. Like you it breaks out like this, like they be out eating, like you can't you can't tell you got it for three days, so you just out enjoying life and then all of a sudden your face break out with these big old blisters and stuff like oh no. Yeah, like I said, when you start rebuilding your life, get out and live life. Like I was talking to my brother the other day, 
and we was talking a long time and I was telling him like, uh, hey sister. All right, Josh. I was talking to my brother and we talked for a long time. And I was telling him like, um, we have to get out here and um, enjoy life. I do not want to be married. If I ever get married, uh, love you, Josh. If I ever get married, I don't want to be the one in the house sleeping in two separate bedrooms. And the only thing I'm bringing you the only thing we do it every day is sitting around watching TV. I got my wig off. You sitting on the couch. You coming for her sit on the couch. Just sitting there. We just sitting there watching TV eating food. Mm-mm. I'm not doing that with nobody. Uh-uh. I am going to marry somebody who's on the same shit as me. We gonna get out here and fucking travel. We gonna get out here and fucking do stuff. And we gonna get out here. And mind you, I ain't never been married. I plan on being married one day. If I don't catch the monkey pop. Y'all forgive me. Don't give me the monkey pop. <laughs> you know my heart. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, y'all first responders, I tell y'all be safe because. <laughs> This shit ain't no joke. I just think everybody should get out and enjoy life, rebuild life. You're not happy, rebuild your life. It's not hard. If you're not happy, if you're not, if you think you're not where you want to be in life, it's never too late to start over. Never too late. Like I said, I started over 50, 11 times. And people talk shit about me all the time. Do I give a fuck? You think I... Me, Kiana, Jake, give a flying sleep fuck what a motherfucker say about me. Not at all. Because you guess what? Who pays any bill over here? I'll wait. <laughs> do, 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 Nobody. So you think I'm going to care about what anybody say? about the way I live, or the way I move, or the way I do things. No. I'm fucking adult. I'm 42 years old. You can't tell me shit. The fuck? Don't grow the hell. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I wanna do anyway. Shit. I did that when I was a teenager anyway. Did what I wanted to do. But, at the end of the day, I do stuff to make me happy, because the fact is, if you're not happy, because I refused to leave this earth and the motherfucker said she was miserable as hell. This there, I'm mad as hell. I'm so mad. Said she was miserable. No, they won't be able to say that about Kiana Jake. They gonna be like, ah, oh, that girl enjoyed her life. Yeah. She had some ups and downs. And just to let y'all know, at my funeral, um, uh, it's gonna be a, a, a list. If you don't fuck with me while I was here, don't fuck with me while I'm dead. I don't do that phony shit. <laughs> <laughs> I already got the list made out. <laughs> but uh, my people know who can come and who can't. Shit, I'm telling you. <laughs> that list already together. So you not invited to the party. <laughs> Tell you that right now. So, hey, Tasty. So again, if y'all just not coming in here, I have a celebrity guest next week, but I ain't gonna tell you to the end of this show. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all just don't even know. And it's crazy because I had to pull the friend card because I was like, oh my God, like I want her on my show, but I was like, I'm scared to act, you know, cause I hate to be told no. So I, I used to, um, I was, I used to go to school, me and my sister went to school with her kids, and they, we all still follow each other on social media, you know, we all used to hang out and stuff, kick in, you know, at her house and stuff like that, and so, I'm like, dog, I want her on my show, you know, she an actress, so I'm like, I want her on my show, and uh, I was like, dang, I'm gonna reach out, 
So I reached out to her son, you know, because I had seen he had viewed one of my stories recently. So I reached out to her son first, and then ignored me. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna kick his ass too. When I to see him, I'm, when I come to Chicago, if I see you, I'm gonna kick your ass because you ignore. Him. But I end up reaching out to her. You know, I was like, you know, she was like, and she just said yes, and I was like, oh my god, I've been on cloud ten since she told me yes. Like I've been on, you know, I had to tell my close and most about it. You know, <laughs> first, you know. So her daughter, I hit her up, you know, or whatever. So I'm excited about my guest, you know, for next week, you know. So I've been writing out my little questions, you know, getting my material together because this one is going to be professional. I'm going to be in the studio because I'm going to be back in Milwaukee. Yeah. I'm going to be in the studio, yeah. It's going to be professional. If this thing don't smoke, I'm going to be mad because uh, my vape. I'm out of vape and I ain't been down in Mississippi. I gotta go to Greenwood to get my vape. The vape I want. Shit. And so uh I'm excited about that. Yeah. So again, let's go back to the topic. I always get off topic, but that's okay. That's me. I always be all over place, but that's okay. That's me. If you know me a person, that's what I do. I jump from subject to subject. Now, rebuilding life. Um, now, now if you have a good life, I ain't just say up and leave it. Now, I'm not telling you to do that because y'all take some of y'all take what I say out of content, and the reason I say that because that ain't what I said, and I do that to some people. Like, if I'm talking to people and I, I, I hear I hear one thing, but you did not say it another, but you be having to clear that up for me, you know, that's why I say communication is the key. <laughs> with me yeah but some of y'all take some some of the things i say out of context i didn't say uh just up and leave you know start over like i said I, everybody's different you know and like i said i moved around a lot when i was younger so you know i have friends everywhere you know and um i know people everywhere like i said before most of the people are my Social media is people I know personally because I have moved around a lot. Um, I'm doing that as an adult because it because of my childhood, my uh, younger days, I moved around a lot. So me, I'm just never settled. It's like an army brat without being in ever being in the army, you know. But um, now I'm um, getting settled. Um, I think. Um, Memphis will be my last stop. I, um, if God willing and and say, I think Memphis will be my last stop. I just, you know, what I'm saying that I think that's just what it is. Now, I met this girl in uh, T-Mobile. I was getting my phone switched over, and uh, she said she's from um, Milwaukee and Chicago too. And she was like, she hates Memphis. She been here for six years, but she met her husband here. And uh, my friend, my best friend, she met her husband here. And then, uh, so it's just like, okay, she's like, and the girl's like, the only reason I'm here is because my husband's been trapped me, you know, <laughs> type shit. But she's like, she hated here. So I don't know. I don't know. I see. I, I, just be, I just feel like me being around different people, like, you won't catch me in a, um, like, hood nightclub or anything like that. I'm I'm kind of done with that stuff. The only thing, like, if I go to Milwaukee, the only thing I'll go to, like, is where my friend is DJing at. And, uh, yeah, where my friend's DJing at and where I used to work at. Because that, where I used to work at is where I feel safe. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the hoodest clubs, but everybody know me in there. So, it's just like, I feel safe there. You know, so, but, um, uh, everywhere else, like, I'd rather be at a nice bar with the rich folks acting rich, even though I'm not. You gotta fake it till you make it, people. You know, that's why I be talking, fake it till you make it. And I, I, yeah. So I'm gonna be sitting there uh, with my, uh, I have a question, if you could describe you in three words, what would they be? Oh, Crystal, you have a question? Okay, okay. If I can describe myself in three words, what would it be? <sighs> Outgoing, 
um, good hearted, crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that makes a perfect person. <laughs> yes. That's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm very out there. I'm very different. I'm very don't care about what people think you know um i'm very you know boom in your face <laughs> like i'm here what <laughs> and i'm very um outspoken you know when i see if i feel like somebody doing me wrong or you know um saying like um doing stuff or doing somebody i love wrong i'm gonna speak on i'm gonna say something you know and that's just me you know i'm a protector uh that's what i do i'm the oldest of all my siblings i always protect I'm mama bear you know so i protect everybody so that's what i do because it's everybody so that that's just me um good hearted that's a downfall for me sometimes, you know, because people, I'm going to be honest, some people treat me like trash. <laughs> and it's crazy because I just feel like because some of those people treat me like that, um, I don't ask for anything. I don't, uh, you know, do uh, certain things or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And I don't let it bother me. But the same people will turn around and expect me, you know, to treat them better than what they treat me, or they ask me for something and I don't say no because I I just feel like if I have it, I'll do it for you. You know what I'm saying? If I if I if you need me to sit and listen to you, I do that for you. If you see, need me to, you know what I'm saying, be there for you, I do that for you. You know, if you call me, I'm gonna pick up my phone. That's just what it is unless I'm going through something, you know. <laughs> I'm going good hard every week. <laughs> yeah. But um I'm a I'm I'm a very good person. I'm a very I need my last dollar, you know, if I got it, you know, and that's just me. I don't care, you know, I'm not the person that'll talk about what she do for you or nothing or tell your secrets or anything like that. I'm I'm that person. I'm like I'm your person. Like if I fuck with you, I'm your person. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just me. Crazy? I'm crazy as hell. I've been crazy since since I can remember. You know, I got hit people with cars. I was hey, I'm my I'm my nutty game is off the chain. <laughs> I snapped at the drop of a dime and pissed me off. I'm nuts though. <laughs> I shoot you and everything. <laughs> I'm working. I'm working on it. I'm a lot better than what I used to be. Like I'm a lot. Back in the day, you know, when you younger, you think you just invincible. Like you have no like consideration for life at all. That was me. <laughs> like I used to do all type of. Like my mama don't even know the half of what what I used. Baby, honey, child, when I look back on my life, I'd be like, damn, how I survived that? <laughs> it's like, man, child, honey, I got some stories for y'all, baby. When I say, honey, especially back in my game, baby, day, honey, child, baby, when, when you young, and my youngest son said this to me, and I had told him, stop thinking like that. Like, you're invisible. You're not invisible. God can take you. Everybody have an expiration date. You know what I'm saying? When we young, we think we are in this baby. Ooh, child, honey. Ooh, yeah, I'm crazy. Hey, I'm crazy. I snap off at the, ooh, honey. Mm-mm. I be ready. I'm always, I'm the ready one. I be ready. I don't give a fuck. 
but yeah, those three things describe me um, very, very, very. Well. <laughs> that's what you get when you get Kiana. That's 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 a good question, Chris. Thank you for the question. I appreciate it. You know, and um, I think that's what makes people draw to me. You know, my energy, my vibe, my energy is off the chain. You know what I'm saying? When I met you, Crystal, I was like. Yeah, she dope. I like her. Your energy is good. You got good energy or aura around you. You real you a real good person. You know what I'm saying? And that's me not even hanging with you. I just I can tell like you a real good person. Like the people my my my, my sisters and uh, them um you got hot and cold, yeah. Many people see the fence, you know. Uh, you know, I think you have a confidence which gets confused with praise and confidence. Yeah, that I think the confidence in me. You gotta understand. I was in a relationship um too where I was beat down, not just by the man, but his family. I was beat down, beat down, beat down mentally and um verbally. So um. Thank you, Arthur. That's why we friends. <laughs> I, the energy. But uh, I was beat down, not just by him, it was by his family. And it was just, it took a toll on me. It took a toll on my self-esteem. It took a toll on my confidence. So, um, yeah, it's just the confidence I have now had to be rebuilt, you know, had to be re-put in, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature, I'm not cocky. I just know I'm that, I'm, I'm her. Like, I don't care if I live in a cardboard box. You can't tell me I'm not her. Like, <laughs> you can't tell me. I, I always tell people, well, do you know who I am? <laughs> they don't, but you will after you talk to me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you have to have a confidence about yourself. You have to have a, a Cause know who I love you more than you. You get what I'm saying? I tell my fuck quick. I love me more than I love you. I don't care if I'm in a relationship or anything. I'm gonna love me before I love you. Cause one time I didn't love me. I didn't love me at all. You know, and and once I start love myself, it let out a whole nother beast. You know what I'm saying? It let out a whole now. Don't get me wrong, I go through my shit. You know what I'm saying? I go through, you know, like I we we talked a couple weeks ago. You know, I was going through depression and everything. You know, I had a rough year. This past year has been rough. Rough. And again, rebuilding life. This past year has been rough. And I didn't even know it was rough. It was brought to my attention that my year was rough. <laughs> it had to be brought to my attention that my year was rough. And then I had to sit and think like, bitch, you been through it this past year. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm rebuilding from that. You know, and I'm still going through it a little bit, but at the end of the day, I choose to tell share that with y'all because simple fact is I'm not a Facebook phony faker. <laughs> I don't do that. No, you go <laughs> it's too many of them on here. <laughs> I don't do that Facebook funny faking shit. I don't do that shit because um because simple fact is um people look at you through social media, you know, and I just want people to know I'm like a lot of y'all. And it's crazy because I had so many people think I'm living the best life ever through my social media just because I'm out, you know, party, woo, woo, woo. but you don't know half the time I'm out partying is because of the people I know, right? A lot of my friends are DJs up in Milwaukee, you know, uh, so when I first got there, um, I was talking to a DJ. I was able to get into the clubs. One of my best friends is one of the good DJs up there. I was able to get into clubs and stuff like that. People buy you drinks, all that stuff. So it looked like <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Yes, because, you know what I'm saying? But I go through struggles too, you know what I'm saying? Everything is not peachy dory king you know what i'm saying so and that's what people get in mixed that and you know people only on social media only show the good you know only show and sometimes i do cry sometimes i do get depressed sometimes i do you know think about 
you know, just giving up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I do that because, you know, and then you got, I have good people in my life like, bitch, snap out of it. You, we ain't doing this. Get the fuck up, do you, and have a fucking good day. And that's just what it is. And, and I get my ass up, dust myself off, and do it again. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a normal person. It's okay to feel a certain type of way. Don't let nobody tell you you don't have a right to feel a certain type of way. Everybody say, it's this dude I was talking to and we had stopped talking. I think he blocked me again. So I'm going to tell it because he blocked me again. We had, I was actually dating him and um, we had stopped um, dating, you know, and we had been through some stuff or whatever. And he blocked, he deleted me as a friend. And I guess he came back. So I always, when people delete me, I always, you know, open if we didn't end really bad, like I just opened the door, like okay, he and his feelings, you know. If he come back, I'd accept him back. So he ended up, you know, coming back at me as a friend. And I accepted him back or whatever, and um, you know, he was like, I always supported you. He was on my show a few times. He's like, I always supported you. You know, what I'm saying you dope as fuck. You know, what I'm saying, Woo-woo. you know, he always been that. Words of affirmation person to me. That is one of my love languages. He always been that, you know what I'm saying? You dope as hell. I ain't, you know, I ain't never fuck, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. Woo, woo. Boom. So he hit me and he said something to me. And I was like, what do you want from me? I asked, you know, I asked the question, you know, what do you want from me? Like, what is it? What is it? I was like, what do you like about me? I, I just, Tell me what you like about me. What makes you want, think you want to be with me like that? And he was like, yo, vibe, yo, energy, you know, you just dope as hell. You know what I'm saying? I just, ooh, ooh. I was like, oh, that's sweet. I appreciate it. But I told him, we will always be friends, but I will never date you again. Because he had did some stuff while we was dating that I just wouldn't be able to tolerate. And that's just that and i will never settle for things i know i will not be able to tolerate in a relationship so that's just me now you can call it all your standards high as no i've been through a lot and i know what i'm going to be able to tolerate and i know what i'm not going to be able to tolerate so yeah and he deleted me again because i ain't seen his ass on here since so But I am in the state of tell, asking you, what what do you see in me? Like, this nigga down here, I'm going to block him because I know he just want to have sex with me. So what I, what, he was like, oh, I want to take you out. Whoa, whoa, no strings attached. I'm like, okay. I'm like, now sometimes I'll be real busy. Like, I book what I do weeks ahead of time sometimes. And if it's important, I squeeze you in. But, you know, I don't fuck with dude like that. He's a fucking liar. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't do liars. But, you know, I'm like, I'm kind of hungry. So, you know what I'm saying? He can take me out. That's fine. So I tell him, like, the date, you know, it'd be two weeks from now, you know, because I'm kind of busy or whatever. He's like, okay, cool. I was like, and you ain't getting none. So, and so he was like, I think the catcher was, um, do you want me to pick? He said, do you want me to pick you up from your house or do you want to meet me somewhere? I said, I'll meet you somewhere. Because let me tell you something. I caught a stalker one time. Um, cussing my house and that nigga told me he would ask in my motherfucking face because that's the only thing I got to offer. And the only reason why niggas want to talk to me is because I was pretty and he would ask in my face. And then I had a stalker. So you niggas weird. So if we're not in a serious relationship, you is not coming to my house. <laughs> I am dead ass. Like you niggas are weird as fuck. Y'all crazy as hell. But uh <laughs> though, that's all that man. Yeah, I say that. You niggas weird as fuck. And uh y'all fucking aggressive. And when people tell y'all no, y'all be ready to take their lives and shit. No, I ain't fucking with you crazy motherfucker. Y'all crazy as hell. I <laughs> shit. But uh when I told him that he couldn't come to my house. Then you know that nigga that called me for that day? 
Because I knew he only wanted one thing. That's why I said it. That's why I said, oh, you're not getting nothing. I knew he only wanted you. You know the people that want to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? You know the people, you know what I'm saying, that actually want to, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to block him because I, I don't really like him anyway. So, you know, once he lied to me the first time, I was over it. You know what I'm saying? I get turned off real quick by uh, liars and shit. That shit blows me, you know. But, uh, yeah. Me rebuilding my life, you know, my chapter, I think right now is, I would say this chapter, I'm 42, I'll be 43 in February. Uh, I'm not going to put a time stamp, but I believe God has a plan for me because he keeps breaking me back and setting me up in some pretty decent stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I just got to stop doubting. Keep pushing and keep being me. Uh, and I appreciate everybody, all y'all, the people that support me and everything. But uh, God has a plan for me before I leave this earth. And whatever it is, it's going to be fucking great, you know? <laughs> and everybody that's been on my team, that's been supporting me, you know what I'm saying, from, from everything that I do, even from... My old jobs, you know, Clearbrook. You got my Daisy, my Megan, my Miss Mary, my Lolo, uh, my Twan, my Tina's. You know what I'm saying? People from high school, junior high. Oh, oh y'all, um, been rocking with me for, for for a long time. And like I said, my guests, you never. Another thing. All your friendships, you might not talk to everybody every day. And you might not talk to some people for in some years, but you never leave a bad taste in people's mouth. Like I said, my guest for next week, friends with them for since we was in high school, but her friends with her kids since we were in high school. And because of that, I was able to book her for her to be my guest. And I think I'm going to tell y'all who it is because <laughs> I'm going to close this out. I've been talking for like an hour. So, if you watch The Shy, you know, one of my favorite shows on Showtime, they have a character named Peaches. And Peaches will be my guest next week. She's the mother of Jake, and he called himself Victor now uh, on The Shy. So, Peaches is going to be my guest next week. I'm so excited. Um, uh, again, like I said, I went, I, me and my sister went to school with her kids. So uh, it was a blessing that I was able to reach out to them and get her on. So I'm excited. I'm so excited since she told me yes. I've been so excited. So I'm excited that Peaches, um, her name is Sharice, is going to be on my show next week and we're gonna talk about some other roles that she played in because she was on in a few roles but right now everybody know her from the shy as um jake uh, uh luke james mother <laughs> so yeah we gotta uh, talk to her so i'm excited about that <laughs> and um again uh rebuilding life is I'm putting the promo up too so whoever then um tune in to the show y'all can see uh uh rebuilding life don't be scared to step out get out and live it live it is okay don't worry about what people like the way you want to live it so if you want to be out here doing whatever you want to do do it if you need to get out here out of a relationship or a bad relationship or something do that but it's, it, this world's not set up for you to be miserable. I just feel like we leave it the way you leave the world the way you live. The, live. You get what I'm, I'm, y'all get what I'm trying to say? You know, I'm not that good with words, but y'all understand what I be trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Leave, leave, yeah. Live it, then leave it. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got back. I don't see why people don't think that everybody got that, but everybody got that. So, you know, just make sure y'all, you know, live life, get out there, rebuild, get out that bad situation, rebuild. It's okay. It's okay to step out your comfort zone. 
Get out that comfort zone. Just get out the comfort zone. That's all you gotta do is get out the fucking comfort zone. Once you get out that comfort zone, you can do anything. You can do anything. If I say you can do anything, you can do anything. So me and my little blue truck be be kicking it. You know what I'm saying? We be out here. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's broke now. It's broke now, but my brother getting it fixed for me. You know what I'm saying? That that see, that's what I'm saying. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? It, you, you, <laughs> it's coming. It's getting. It's getting there. Thank you, thank you, Crystal. I'm excited for it too. But yeah, make sure y'all um tune in next week. Um uh for the show, I'm gonna put the promo up late tonight. I think it'll be about twelve o'clock. Uh, for the promo, you know, so I'm excited for that. But uh, get out here, live life, step out on faith, um, and money. You have to have money and rebuild. It's okay. I rebuild 55,000 times. I think this is my last time rebuilding. Um, again, once I get my house together, I am going to throw a gathering for my close and personal. And um, even the ones up north got to come down here. So I'm going to pick a day for everybody to get down here. And we're going to turn you know, this little quiet block I live on now. So I want to thank y'all for tuning me into another episode of Talk is Cheap with Kiana J. I am your host, Kiana J. And I hope this hookah start up the way it's supposed to because I want to finish smoking it. <laughs> and I love you. If nobody told you today, I am going to tell you. I love you guys as always. And bye.